What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for lines.com, playpicks.com, and let's talk some Super Bowl props. Everybody wants to get some prop bets in their account, so let's kick things off here with a Joe Mixon rushing prop. And listen, the number that I got, not available anymore, but it's only two yards difference, and I took the under rushing yards on Joe Mixon. I took under 64 and a half. I think under 62 and a half is still playable here. If you take a look here, guys, also, all you got to do is go to the lines right here, click on prop finder off of the front page, and it'll take you to the little search tool right here. That's how I find all these lines so incredibly easily and so quickly. So do that and uh, check out Joe Mixon props under. Here's the reason why I am looking for this to be a very pass happy approach from the Cincinnati Bengals. Nobody has been able to run on this Rams team, the 49ers, a power rush team, couldn't get anything going on the ground whatsoever. If you look back two weeks ago against the Chiefs, the Bengals ran the ball 60% of the time on first down for about a yard and a half every time. They were putting Joe Burrow in these second and eight and nine situations over and over and over again. They've got two weeks to prepare for this game. I like them going with a pass-heavy approach. I don't see this game getting out of hand in favor of the Bengals to where Mixon just can get there by volume alone. So I really do like the under 62 and a half on Joe Mixon. Next, let's take a look at Samaji Pirine in the backfield there again for the Cincinnati Bengals. And listen, if I believe that this is going to be a pass ha- happy approach, a pass heavy approach by this team, that also means trying to keep this defensive line at bay as well. The big mismatch in this game, Rams defensive line, Bengals offensive line. So what do you get? You run these quick passes. You get it out of Joe Burrow's hands quick. You run some screens. You run some design stuff to these backs coming out of the backfield. And Samaji P. Ryan, not only has he become the third down back for this team, but he also is a pass catching back for them as well. I like the over on eight and a half receiving yards and you can see this has already been bet up at a couple of the books i like the over on eight and a half receiving yards for samaj p ryan i think he gets two or three receptions in this game and if that's the case i feel pretty good about our shot right here at getting to nine yards next we're going to take a look at jamar chase and we don't have to go very far whenever we take a look at jamar chase because it's right here at the top and this is rushing yards i am going over the three and a half here rushing yards guys listen what do you know about these Super Bowl games, right? It is the it is it is these teams trying to make sure that they're getting the the ball in the hands of their best players. And if they're going to have two weeks to draw up some stuff to get Jamar Chase the ball, listen, he might get the Jalen Ramsey treatment in the pass game. If that's the case, they're gonna do all they can to get the ball in his hands. Now, does that mean some short screens and things like that? Maybe so. But the only way to guarantee the ball gets in Jamar Chase's hands is to hand him the ball. So I think he gets at least one carry in this game, if not two or three. And if that's the case, I'll take the over on the three and a half uh rush yards there for Jamar Chase. Next one will come over here to DraftKings, and this is most passing yards head to head. Between Matthew Stafford and Joe Burrow, where you find this, guys, you go to Super Bowl specials and then player matchups right there. And I'm going to go with the even money here on Joe Burrow for everything that we just mentioned. Pass happy approach, most likely game script if you go with this as well, right? If they're doing well, it is because Joe Burrow is passing the ball well. If they're doing poorly, then he's going to have to abandon the run completely and throw the ball a million times. So I'm going with a couple of different game scripts here that get uh, gets us home with Joe Burrow having the most amount of passing yards. We also know Sean McVay has gotten very conservative with leads in the past. If you believe that this Rams team is going to win this game, or specifically if you think this Rams team is going to win this game big, then you are definitely going to be drawn to Joe Burrow with the most passing yards in this thing because we know Sean McVay will hand the ball off, try to burn clock. He gets super conservative. So I think there's a few different ways that Burrow gets there for the most passing yards in this game. Next, we'll head over to Caesar Sportsbook for the team with the longest made field goal. And I'm going to go Cincinnati Bengals here as well. Evan McPherson has been one of the best kickers in the NFL, probably only behind Justin Tucker this year as far as how good he has been. And we know one thing as well. Zach Taylor is not afraid to run him out there to try these long field goals. We saw Matt Gay come up short in the playoffs from 47 yards. We have seen McPherson make multiple 50-plus yard field goals in this game. 
We know for a fact that we are also getting better conditions than he was even making those kicks during the playoffs. you got to remember, that is an outdoor game that he played in Tennessee, an outdoor game that he played in Kansas City, an outdoor game that he played at home against the Raiders. Cold conditions, balls harder, doesn't fly as far. Optimal conditions over at SoFi Stadium in L.A., roof, perfect field conditions, warmer weather, the whole nine yards. I'm going with McPherson to make the longest field goal in this game. And another field goal thing that goes hand-in-hand hand with this one is also the field goal yardage over 60 and a half here for the Cincinnati Bengals. We're looking at, basically we're asking Evan McPherson to make two field goals in this game. That's what we're coming down to here. He, they're not going to kick two field goals that are sub 30 yards in this game. It's not going to happen. So we need him to make two field goals. Two 30-plus yard field goals is all we're asking. If he kicks us a 45-yarder, then we're basically already home with any version of a second field goal that he kicks in this thing. And again, like I said, they're not afraid to run him out from distance. And so if he gets us a 45-yarder early on, then we're feeling pretty good about our bet here. Over 60.5 yards for total field goals here for the Cincinnati Bengals. Those are six props already in my account, guys. And again, if you want to search the props and you want to search the props in your state, just come over to the lines, click on the lines. Whenever you're on the homepage right here, it'll take you to the prop finder. And then when you get to the prop finder, just click on that little, uh, click on that little tab right there. When you get to the prop finder, find your state, all the states listed right here, just type the player in. And when you do that, you'll see, and you can compare all of the lines and guys right now, we're talking about everything over in Discord. Be sure and head over there and get in on the Discord as well. We're going through not only Super Bowl, but golf and basketball and everything else. So be sure and become a community member there. And as always, everything we do is absolutely free. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button while we're here. You're going to want to do that because we are going to have a giveaway tomorrow here on the channel when we go through our favorite bets of the Super Bowl. So be sure and be a subscriber so that you are getting the notification whenever that video goes live. Good luck on all your bets here for Super Bowl 56.